hello students in the today's session we'll talk about alcohol abuse addiction and its management now first uh, let's uh, talk about alcohol in brief as we all know alcohol is a psychoactive substance alcohol produces feeling of pleasure excitement and euphoria hesitation self criticism and restraints are lost it produces generalized depression of central nervous system now these are some of the uh, very important effects of alcohol on the body uh, that are responsible for alcoholic abuse and addiction now let's see what is abuse excess use of alcoholic beverages like beer wine distilled spirit either on individual occasions that is binge drinking or as a regular practice in an amount that deviates from the approved medical and social pattern is termed as abuse whereas compulsive out of control use of alcohol to achieve its desired effects is termed as addiction now chronic alcoholism damage neurons of brain and the brain shrinks and uh, chronic alcoholism also causes physical as well as psychological dependence on alcohol uh, alcohol addiction occurs primarily in two ways uh, one is the physical dependence other is the psychological dependence now this physical dependence develops on repeated or chronic consumption of alcohol and this is because alcohol is uh, all the time present in the body the body starts depending on the alcohol now as we know that alcohol affects several neurological pathways like uh, gabaergic pathway glutaminergic pathway dopaminergic pathway serotonergic pathways uh, because of the chronic alcoholism all these neurological pathways they start functioning as per the directions given by alcohol now therefore when the person avoids alcohol certain aversive symptoms called as alcohol withdrawal symptoms are observed now these alcoholic withdrawal symptoms some of uh, these symptoms are anxiety irritability insomnia tremors delirium and hallucination and because of these withdrawal symptoms the person is unable to uh, stop drinking these withdrawal symptoms compel the person to again start drinking and this is termed as a negative reinforcement on the other hand there is psychological dependence on alcohol now again as uh, uh, the uh, alcohol uh, affects several neurological pathways uh, it uh, gives a reward stimulus uh, alcohol induces a feeling of pleasure excitement euphoria and it uh, uh, causes loss of inhibitions it causes loss of uh, all type of restraints like uh, hesitation self criticism uh, guilt and because of these reward stimulus there is always an alcohol seeking behavior the person always craves for the alcohol and this craving for the alcohol because of uh, the pleasure excitement euphoria produced by the alcohol is termed as a positive reinforcement so thus because of the uh, negative reinforcement and because of the positive reinforcement these reinforcements compel the person to consume alcohol and it becomes very difficult for the person to leave alcohol the abstinence becomes very difficult and many a times a person completely abstain from drinking the person completely avoids drinking but then also there is relapse and this relapse is seen because of the reward stimulus this re uh, relapse is seen because of uh, uh, the alcohol induced pleasure excitement euphoria that is missed by the person because now the person has abstained from the drinking uh, so this is how the alcohol addiction develops now we will talk about the management and treatment of uh, alcoholism first let's uh, talk about the management of uh, alcohol withdrawal symptoms benzodiazepines are recommended as a first line medication for the management of alcohol withdrawal in uh, alleviating withdrawal uh, discomfort and in preventing seizures and delirium long term benzodiazepines are recommended over short term benzodiazepines 
and in general duration of benzodiazepine treatment should be limited to 3 to 7 days after cessation of alcohol. Now as part of withdrawal management all patients uh, should be given oral thymine. Now patients at high risk of Wernicke's encephalopathy should be given 3 days of parenteral thymine. Folic acid and uh, magnesium may also be administered as nutritional support. Uh, now talking about the medications, three medications uh, are uh, normally used for the treatment of chronic alcoholism. Uh, first drug is the naltrexone. Now before talking about naltrexone, it is important to know that uh, opioids uh, or the endorphins are released in the mesolimbic pathway. When the alcohol is consumed, there is release of endorphins in the mesolimbic pathway. And these endorphins stimulate the release of dopamine. And as we all know, dopamine is responsible for the reward stimulus. It is responsible for the feeling of pleasure, excitement, euphoria mm. uh, that is observed after the consumption of alcohol. Now, naltrexone, it is an anti-craving agent. It reduces heavy drinking. It is an opioid antagonist. So, it prevents the release of, uh, it prevents the uh, action of endorphins. And thereby, it does not, uh, it prevents the increase in the level of dopamine in the mesolimbic pathway. And therefore, the person is unable to experience the feeling of uh, pleasure or excitement or uh, the euphoria. That means, uh, naltrexone reduces the positive reinforcement. It also prevents a relapse. Another important drug is, the, is the acamprosate. Now, it is a weak NMDA receptor antagonist. It is a more modest uh, GABA A receptor agonist and it reduces a relapse. Another very important drug is a disulfiram. Disulfiram is an aldehyde uh, dehydrogenase inhibitor. Now, if alcohol is consumed, disulfiram inhibits the metabolism of alcohol. And because of the inhibition of uh, uh, metabolism of alcohol, there is accumulation of acetaldehyde in the blood and tissues. Now, this acetaldehyde, it produces distressing symptoms. Distressing symptoms like flushing, throbbing, headache, visual disturbances and vomiting. And because of the manifestation of uh, these symptoms, uh, the subject avoids consumption of alcohol. And therefore, uh, disulfiram is uh, known as an aversion therapy. So this is all about the management of withdrawal symptoms and medications which are used for the treatment of alcoholism. Uh, thanks for watching the video.